Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Today's by Daily Challenge Runs. This is October 17th, 2018. And uh, right now we are not doing too great. We have 10 wins and 6 losses as you can see here on the screen. 10 wins and 6 losses. Um, a little bit of a, a horrible display on my side. But uh, it's been a tough month. A lot of new modifiers being introduced. The uh, Iron Crag getting nerfed into Oblivion. Uh, just a couple of things we have to get used to, but um, we are going to be trying for that top 100 position as always. Um, you know, it is a. Personal goal of mine to be uh, top 100 every single one. So we need to score 1089 to make that happen. We have a vintage, which means it should be a good ish daily, but we haven't signed anything buying, which both could be scary. So. It's going to be, if you look at these scores, none as if there's very low scores, so it says the daily is pretty hard to me, but I am convinced that Vintage should carry us, hopefully. So let's just jump into it, I'm not going to waste any more time here, let's go, and uh, let's let's try and get a win on the Ironclad, because let's be honest, we've lost like every single Ironclad run that has ever existed in the human race, and in my opinion that's completely unacceptable. It is the Hexa Ghost, so kind of, kind of difficult. Use that into that. So I got one, the first one's fine. Like, we don't know what in our insanity deck is, and I'm also not gonna check. I'm just going to uh, believe in what they call the heart of the cards or whatever. And that's fine. Why do I have a frail? I guess he failed me. Okay. Do, do, do. This is kind of awkward. So I'm taking six, and there's literally nothing to do with it. I heal six, so it doesn't matter, but I do need attacks. It's kind of uh, very important that I do get these attacks to shop as soon as I can. <laughs> Ornamental fan is fine. This does 12 plus 9 is 21. This does 15. Obviously, 21. No doubt about my. We can do 21 again. We'll go flex, spot weakness, and then. Now, I could have used uh, other things like, uh, for instance, the multitude of other cards, but. You know. So, like this. Uh, like this. I like this and we can clash. Beautiful. I wanted to make sure I got the kill there, so I was, I was focusing a bit more on trying to confirm the kill instead of other things. So I think you got like this, like this, like that. You headbutt, hit back, and you hope you draw only attacks next time. Doesn't matter, we got eliminated this fight. So we've taken one damage in this fight so far. On this on this one so far. I think you wall went for 15. I think that's the best bet. Gets them both in, within one shot range. So, yeah. This is beautiful. So far, so good. So far, pretty vintage daily. Looking pretty vintage to me. I uh, like it a lot. Uh, one of those. Would have loved to have got a kill here. But I don't think it's happened. So, this will do. Let's try it. See what happens. Oh. I feel like that's the worst uh, possible situation for us. We could potentially... I think it's going you. Get up, get you as well. We're going to take damage here. There's nothing we can do about it. They definitely went out of their way with the... Uh, what's in Fallout, I must say. Let's just only one of the most HP, I guess. We're not going to take any damage here, so it's okay. But the new... Uh, everything is very bright and shiny and sparky and, and beautiful. You know what I'm saying? So it's a bit like... It's, it's nice, obviously. I don't think it's a bad thing per se. But I also do think it's a little bit weird. But whatever. We're going to take two here. I'm actually completely fine with that. We should kill them both now. Uh, Weep is actually beautiful. Uh, is there a way to make this better? If we... This is doing... If we inflame Weeper, they will both die. and Or one will die and then we'll be able to kill them. Beautiful. Old coin's great. If we get to a shop. Smithing time. There's lots of options. Because we actually... Like, there's lots of options because we don't really know what we're dealing with. Uh, I'm just gonna upgrade Emulate for now, I think. Upgrade, emulate showed up twice. Upgrade Emulate's good. We're gonna be fighting an Elite now anyway, so. It is a great lead to get Emulate. Oh, but Bludgeon 32 is pretty good too. Um, I'm gonna start off by. I'm gonna start off popping this. Oh, there's our Emulate. Is there any way to. You know what we could do? We could go Gambler's Brew. We can get rid of everything except for Emulate. And we can hope we get double tap. We didn't. We got a flex, which is kind of good. 
And uh, then we got Immolate, so that's 30. I think it was better. Uh, play a defend, I guess. Okay. So I was hoping for double tap so I could just end the fight right off the bat. And that's why I used two potions. We're not going to get a perfect here, which is shitty. But we have the potential now to get through this without taking any damage, which is a little bit more valuable, you know, honestly. So I'm going to start with Havoc and maybe get something super good. Mm, not sure. Um, I don't think that yeah, so there's no way to get through without taking damage again. So I think I like that and like that. And let's put back the Immolate because that way we'll kill them both next turn. So yeah, we're going to take five more damage. We're going to hit up the six anyway, so it's not the end of the world, but Immolate will end this. So beautiful. That was a good, uh, that was a good, very good fight for us. I don't think we have many strikes. We got one, two, we got like two strikes. I guess like I'm gonna add the clash here because the options are limited. <coughs> Move across my deck. That could be really good actually, because I'm pretty sure there's some stuff here that I don't like. I'm pretty sure there's some stuff here I do not like. Like Berserk I kinda don't like. Um, body slam is kind of doing nothing for us. Second wind is kind of bad. Yeah, I will remove a card from the deck. Uh, what to remove though? I think you go. I think you remove the berserk because I don't want to see it because I'm never gonna play it. And I'll tell you why because I can't afford to. I'm gonna go here so I can think about it. Okay. Lag of Wooden is actually great because of powers. Do that and uh, enter. We can dual wheel clash, pop flex, go searing blow, clash, and clash, and get like more than half his HP gauge gone in one go. Um, I want to kill him. This will do 12 times, but he's dead. Pop those four and he's there. Beautiful. That's a perfect, that's a kill, that's a great time. Start taking max HP. If the cards don't jump out at me, I should probably not take them. Um I'm I don't want to do two bonfires, so I'm gonna go through the monster path instead. Start with the intimidate, obviously. Um Dual wield the wild strike, wild strike, wild strike. That does the most damage for us. I'll do this with the funsies to get the four block. I love that you can do that to kind of sneak a four block. I think it's really good. One of these, one of these, one of those. We can't play clash anyway, so we just tank and tank. Play a flex. Play in previous. This is horrible, by the way. We're getting no attacks. We are weakened too, which is a problem. I'm gonna I'm gonna in flame, spot weakness, headbutt, putting back. We should put back. We should put like a reaper for some HP help because we're gonna hit two enemies now anyway. Quite a bit of HP heal there. Uh, no way to kill you, so we, we healed a lot of HP because we're gonna take a lot of HP damage. So it, it, was, it was a fine play. We healed a lot and then we took six. So I mean, I think that was the right play. I don't think there's any arguing that that was the right play. I'm pretty sure that was the right play. Okay. So just a bunch of relics again. So it's doing us wonders. This doesn't. Okay. So let's do. Uh, I mean, there is a mass. I was gonna say let's do the mass. And I realized there is a mass to do. Green fire was never gonna be better than the steering blade and the twin strike. It was just never gonna be better. Uh, blood for blood. Oh, big miscalculation on my damage there. I'm not taking ten for miscalculation. I thought Blood for Blood would just get the kill, honestly, but I made a mistake, obviously. Uh, question mark or more monsters? Ah, more monsters. More monsters mean more relics. The more relics we get, the stronger we're going to be, and we're going to want to be as strong as we can be for this upcoming boss, so. I'm fine with that. Double tap, immol flex, immolate. We can also remember to use Rage just for fun, I guess. Yeah, just, we got like a lot of relics. This is awkward. Um, I think he's still on play and bash. I oh, think yeah, that's the right play. Moon break was tempting, but I think you're from play and bash. You go like this, you go Reaper for some HP heal, and then you go, uh, this does 20, that's 35, that's way better. 2 9 HP enemies I can deal with potentially. Oh my word, Immolate is my baby, Bottle Tornado. 
I think you want an inflame slot every time. Okay, upgrade the bottled inflame. I'm not sure if that's the right play, but that's the plan I'm gonna go for. It is the X Ghost. We're on max HP, so we will not be outlocking the X Ghost here. That is just a fact. And there is nothing we can do about that. So we will not perfect the X Ghost, which is shitty, but we can do this. And we can do this. And uh, that's it. So there's no perfecting the X Ghost. Uh, if you're on max HP and you fight him, that was a big mistake by me. I kind of potentially forgot about that. I am but a humble man, and a humble man makes humble mistakes. Since I'm not perfect anyway, I, I literally don't care about stuff like uh, DPS. I just kill, I mean, obviously, I care about DPS. What I'm trying to say is, I don't care about like blocking or healing, so I only care about uh, doing damage and killing as fast as possible. And as you can see, I've 100 gone for the, the instant kill deck, so yeah. Very, very easy fight. Traversed insects for free, exhume is amazing. Um, you no longer rested rest sites. I'll take coffee dripper. Should be fine. I don't see it being a problem for us. Might be. Might be. Doubt it. We have so much money. Two shops to get right off the get go. I don't. I can't see myself uh, going for anything other than that. So I'll go like this. I'll go like this. I'm gonna pop this so I can pop like this. There you go. Beautiful. Yeah, to ten. Who cares? I don't care. A little bit of that, a little bit of that, and I will definitely go for some of that. Take some more damage. So we're taking a lot of damage, and we need to remember we don't want to take too much damage because we're not actually healing ever. So you know, I'm I'm being all cocky, I mean like, oh look at me, I don't need to uh, rest up anymore because I took coffee dripper like a crazy person. But I took it with the lot, and, ooh, 600 gold, and I'm like sorted from any type of. But mind blast and apotheosis though. Oh my god, you're doing me dirty game. Game is definitely doing me dirty here. Yeah? Taking mind blast. Taking apotheosis. Taking everything. Okay, easy peasy. We have a mind blast deck, let's go. Do -do -do -do. Okay, I guess. Like this. And mind blast. You lift? I'm not taking any damage, but you lift? Excuse me. I kind of didn't expect that. I guess the mind blast really, really gets uh, heavily nerfed. Um, well, this one does less damage. Look like that. And this one does so we got one almost down. We got one we need to worry about that's actually gonna hurt us. So we're gonna, we potentially gonna take damage here. Potentially, I do say potentially specifically. Uh, bring back the wild strike, I guess. Okay, so. He needs to be twice, so we, we go for this. Oh, but this guy, we need to him three times. We can kill him though. Yeah, we can kill him. Put back the clash, I guess, and then hit her. So we're not taking any damage either. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. That wound card fucked us a little bit. Uh, what was it, a 50 something card deck and we still got the wound card? I mean, let's be honest, that's some absolute bullshit in this game knows it, but you know, whatever. Potion bot, I love it a lot. Uh, I want to go question mark first because we might get money. Remove a card or upgrade all strikes and defense. Move card, I'll upgrade all strikes and defense, even though it's one defense. I want to buy all the cards we can buy unless there's a relic we like this next one, which we do like. We will go for the struggle off and we will go for the omnis too. We want to pick up as many cards as we can, even though it's unlikely because... Um I kind of want your relic though, so yeah. I kind of really, really want your relic, so it's fine. Um, how do I want to do this? In flame, twenty nine. That's so unfortunate. Um, well, mind blast can take out this guy who's very annoying, right? And then body slam on this guy and clash on this guy. And then all we doubt, all we have left is pointy. And I'm not too worried about pointy guys. I'm just gonna tell that right now. So we start off like with some of these. We go for this is doing 26, so we double up the damage and then kill point is dead. Beautiful, absolutely perfect. I want I did that for the card and for the uh, oh, come on. Did for the card and for the red mask because red mask weakens their enemy, which is kind of useful. So you go like this, you go like this, and then you mind blast, and you move on. You go like this. You go like that. You go like this. 
Go like this, and you go like this. Beautiful. Actually, we used the potion. That sucks a little bit. I don't really want to use the potion, but what can I do? The game makes me use a potion. The game makes me use a potion. Elite fight? Fuck yes. A little bit risky, because we don't know what we're going to get, but I think it's fine. So, I will start off with the inflame. I'll then go for a arms play. I'm gonna upgrade bash. I think mind blast is gonna do enough for really well with the bat. A mind blast we play. Okay. Aha! I'm a genius. Who do what who do we take up first? I think we do take you out, and then we bash you for the future. And uh, we're gonna take zero damage here. So potential perfect is available. Potential perfect. Uh inflame. Emulate. Oh you didn't die. Interesting. Headbutt will not kill you. Um, hmm. Putting back head mind boss. So there's no way I get a perfect here. That's unfortunate. I thought he was. I thought I had them both. I miscalculated. It's fine. It sucks a little bit, obviously, because now I don't get the perfect there. But you know what can I do? I made a I made a mistake and I must pay the price. As simple as that. So you know. I uh, yeah, definitely. Oops, I did not want to do that, but since we are dead, let's go. We start off with the Inflame, obviously. We Mind Blast here, obviously. We play Evolve, it makes any free. It's Headbutt, you play Headbutt, you put back the Mind Blast, you pummel. He's dead, it's beautiful. We obviously fight for many rewards. Uh, we pop Inflame. We Mind Blast, you dead. We uh, rampage you, and then we fiend fire, and you are dead too. It's easy peasy. We get two things. Bottled lightning is the skill card. Put a skill card in my opening hand. I think like I think the skill card is really opening as apotheosis, right? Let's take a clash. So we want to get to. A, we kind of really want to get a bonfire and upgrade the apotheosis. Continue. Um, give me the dagger. I want some more cards. Elite fight. Okay. I just gotta do a little bit of thinking. You go in flame, make something free. It's shockwave. You, I mean, don't need to play shockwave. I'm gonna play fire breathing because I think I can get away with it. Make metallitas free, play metallitas, make apotheosis free, play apotheosis, makes mind blast free, mind blast. You shockwave and then you clash. Okay. And this should be pretty basic from this point on. Oh, well, Cockman's great. And give me carnage. Here we go. We smith the apotheosis. Pretty straightforward daily so far. Not looking too difficult, not looking too um, easy. It's just a good balance, I think. So we'll be interested to see how this goes. Start with the power card. We take the... Give me a barricade. Pop barricade, because it's free. Pop Apotheosis because it's free. Pop the uh, Inflame. Or pop this, I guess. Pop the Inflame. Pop the Flex. Pop the Metallicize. Um, use the Carnage, obviously. Use the Mind Blast, obviously. And use the Whirlwind. I'm gonna Snicker Oil. Ah, it was not worth it. I guess I could have played the Energy thing, so I misplayed that big deal. Big time, maybe. Uh, play evolve, make something free, play flex, it makes something else free, you go clash, you go headbutt, you bring back a mind blast, you drink the energy potion, you use the clash, you got double damage, mind blast next turn, which means you'll kill the champ. What's that? Okay, so that was easy peasy. Um, give me barricade, I guess. If I take that, I'm gonna I'm gonna get zero cards from rewards. Curse key gives me curses, and it gives me uh, which gives me cards to make mind blast stronger. So I think it's fine. Uh, early shop, one elite. Only one elite in that path. Only one elite of that. Is this a one elite path path? It looks like that's the case. Okay. Sucks a little bit, but what can a man do? You start off with uh, in flame, obviously. Then you go for Apotheosis, go for Evolve, go for Intimidate, go for Mind Blast, you go for Bash. You would have loved to have hit Bludgeon, but it didn't happen. Bum, 
bum 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 bum. Warrant. Zoom the intimidate, I guess. Yeah, intimidate. Why not? He's taking no damage because we'll cock him. So he, we have like he's alive, which is a problem. Uh, ritual day. This guy. Headbutt. Bring back. Uh, whirlwind, I guess. Go this. Go like this. Go like this. Go like this. It really doesn't matter because it's not. It's just not gonna. It's just not gonna matter. So what I'm trying to say is, it's literally. It's just not gonna matter. <laughs> they all dead. This run is super easy. It's a vintage run. It was easy. We knew it was going to be easy. So buy the cheapest cards out first. In the cheapest card order available. And uh, give me a vinyl potion just for low. Let's go. Uh, some monsters. Some more relics. Always start with flame. Then it pop the assist thing like this. Um, does this kill you? Yes, it does. Is there any way to not kill you? I want to sacrifice your dagger. Oh, never mind. I wanted to sacrifice your dagger, but okay. Uh, receive two madness. Receive a curse. Receive two madness. I'll receive the madness. Two madness makes my mind blast stronger. Inflame. Apotheosis. Madness. Poplins. This is a whole more turn for us, by the way. Um, I'm actually going to take out Spike Boy right off the bat, and then I'm going to take out one of the Exploded Boys, I guess. There we go. Beautiful. We're taking damage here, there's nothing we can do about it. I mean, we can't heal either, so this is it's actually bad if we take damage, but... I'm kind of playing in the sense that I believe in the deck, carrying my butt. So, you know, a little bit of a risky type of situation I've, I've built for myself here. Uh, solely relying on just uh, getting carried by Mind Blast right now and other cards in the deck. Uh, do I want to upgrade a card first or do I just want to go straight to an Elite? There's a secondary shop. There, uh, there's actually a, a, late, a super late shop there. I'd rather go for the super late shop. It is this guy. He looks really small. I don't know if that's just me. He looks very small. Okay. I don't know if you've noticed, but this guy looks beyond small. He looks very... Is this me or he look very small, guys? Only second wind, I guess. It really doesn't matter what I add now. Now we need to go to a bonfire. Stone with flame. Go for Patheosis. Uh, mind blast. The one with the most HP, which is middle boy. Hit, but this guy put back mind blast. Go for carnage on this boy. And your turn healed out of mind blast next turn. And pop salt. And we move along. So pretty, as you can see, tile, very, very basic daily. Just chilling. Just having a great time here. Not having to try it hard. Not having to... Um, give me a card, a curse. I'll take a curse, please. I love a curse. Thank you, game. That is so generous of you. It's decay as well, which is great. Oh, that's a nice curse to give me, game. You are so sweet. Oh, no, going through the shop puts me through a second bonfire, which I don't really want to do. I can gamble two question marks for a full shop there. Another curse, beautiful normality. It's a little bit of a problem if we get it early, but, you know, what can you do? Do do do. In flame. Nope. Potheosis. Always pop in flame first, and then you pop colors, and you tap everything else. Like this, boom. Like this, boom. The mind blast back, I guess. Lols. Move along. This is super easy. It's just one of those dailies that is just the mind blast daily. Just relax, just chillax, just have a good time. You know what I'm saying? That's what this daily is. It's a don't think too hard, don't try too hard, just have a good time type of daily. So, I'm gonna start off by popping this. It's gonna hit apotheosis, then hit dual wheel. I'm gonna hit pop apotheosis. I'm gonna use dual wheel on mind blast. And I'm gonna use shockwave because I can because it's funny. I'm gonna use this because I can because it's funny. I'm gonna use this because it's extra funny. And I'm just gonna go la mind blast, la mind blast, la mind blast, and this fight's over. Moving along. Uh, normality just got fucked by uh, blue candle, so we've literally won this run. In flame, apotheosis, another in flame, pop a weakness. Of a mind blast kill. This is awkward because I truly get to get rid of my clash. So. <laughs> awkward, but it's okay. Go shrug it off. Go con uh carnage. This guy mm, doesn't kill him. War cry. Get rid of this. How do we do? This? How do we handle this? Evolve. Deal wield the clash. Bash this fool. Clash this fool. Clash this fool. Done. Okay, so that's how you do that. Uh, just gonna be anger, I guess. I guess. Lots of spike boys are a problem, but what can you do? Get a bit of a right out of the bat. Don't even hesitate for a second. Uh, pop the inflame. 
pop the apotheosis you know this is like getting like a little bit tiresome to say over and over and over because i'm pretty sure you guys get the gist of it but what can i do i'm but a humble man you're not even taking any damage here that's great boom shakalaka boom boom easy peasy play shrug it off and uh play second wind and then play whirlwind uh Hmm, don't, mm, play Immolate. I was like, why play Warwind? It's gonna make us take more damage. Hit a Carnage and Warwind, that's pretty good. Where are we now? Question mark or monster? I want a potential shop. Somebody got the question mark. It wasn't a shop, it was a chase. Give me regret. Does that give me five curses? One, two, three curses. So no curse, daily bonus. It sucks. We should have taken the rights. That was my fault. Toke or Smith? Obviously we'll Smith. What are we Smith? Uh, double tap, I guess, and pray. Or dual will and pray. I guess double tap or dual and pray. Either of those are good. I'll go double tap and pray. Whatever. Doesn't bother me. I've got a lot of cards in my hand to work with. Okay. Let's start this daily. First thing you do, we pop uh, this. Second thing we do, we pop uh, this. Next thing we do, we pop this. We take a uh, shockwave. Next thing we do, we pop. Pop yes first. In flame. Uh, intimidate Shockwave Madness Dual wield Mind Blast Mind Blast Mind Blast Mind Blast uh, Twin Strikes I misplayed that I should have I should have done that differently Hopefully it won't be a problem It's gonna be a problem <laughs> am, I, am I not gonna perfect this run? I would be so sad. He's dead. Okay. Beautiful. Perfect. The final boss. 25 minute run. Super easy daily. Super, super easy. I could tell this was going to be easy daily. Second, we got 1,935 points. Very low on the score though, which means probably not top 100. Very easy daily as you can tell. Not going to be top 100 with that. Might be top 100. I can't actually remember what the top 100 score was. It was 1,000 or something. Uh, 49th. That's pretty good. Easy daily. Very easy. Vintage. Super easy. Easy daily. We even had a buff at that end. Only mistake we made is we didn't perfect the first for a boss. If we just perfected the Exegos, we would have had the uh, uh, extra 100 points, which would have given us 1,235, which would have placed us 13th. So, or 14th rather. So, easy, easy daily. Very nice. 49th place. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this daily. It was very fun, very easy, and I did not have to moan at all, which is fun. Didn't get the curse bonus. We were two curses short. I should have taken the. I could have taken one right, which didn't give me one extra curse i was still moving one curse short so it didn't matter but a uh, very very nice daily very nice daily very easy daily and i like that uh, i appreciate the easy daily every now and then it's been a little bit hard lately we've been having our getting our butts handed us and so ironclad too so to place 49th on ironclad daily pretty good very low score and very high placement so i'm kind of surprised but fun day very very fun i had a great time thank you all very much for watching this episode of slay this if you guys enjoyed it please be sure to hit that like button it really helps me a lot and i really appreciate it. of course if you have not subscribed please do subscribe as it really helps grow my channel and i really appreciate it i'll see you on the next episode of slay this fire where we try and get more wins and about and more top hundreds if we can for now though thank you for watching i'll see you next time